Shall we get started with the next one? All right, team. So here is what I want to show you on what is HP Quick Test Professional. Before this, you saw in the first topic, what is the basic expectation of automation and so on, right? So now, HP Quick Test Professional is that bike. But it is not just a bike with two wheels. It's got so much features and it has been there for such a long time in the market that it is even today one of the most top two or three software testing automation tools. So let's take a look at what this tool is, what does it do overall and how uh, we're going to go about, uh, uh, you know, covering the different aspects of it. So I'll start with what a HP QTP is. This is something that I've really never done, a theoretical thing. Typically my classes have always started with uh, opening up HP Quick Test Professional and walking you through the scripting straight away. But I want to go structured one by one so you are able to capture what is um, there in each of them. So what we're going to start with is an intro of HP QTP. So like I was showing you, every automation requires a tool. You have a manual process on one side and then you have an automation process on the other side. Sorry about the fonts. It is not my handwriting. It is my mouse which is uh, giving me a hard time. Too. So what I'm trying to show you here is, let me see if I can minimize this recorder here. All right. What I'm trying to show you here is the fact that it is a journey to take a manual process into automation. All right. For example, did I show you Geico.com earlier? First, the manual process is to take that form and start filling in all the fields, the vehicle information, the driver or driver's information, and all the way to getting a quote. Correct? that process needs to be automated. Now, to do this automation, there are some uh, specific tools which will serve the purpose. And some of these tools are called as, and these tools, not some, but these tools are called as automation testing tools. All right. To be more specific, what they do is they test to see if a specific process if a specific feature or a specific functionality working correctly. So what do I mean by this process, feature or functionality team? That is how the application supposed to behave. All right. Is that application behaving in the correct manner or not? That is it. All right. So for example, uh, in this specific quote of Geico.com, if I enter the first name, last name, and let's say I miss the address, all right, just an example, okay, and let's say I don't enter anything here, and I miss the date of birth, and I try and click on continue, is the tool prompting me and saying that, hey, there's certain information that is missing? Is it highlighting those fields in red? Is it displaying the exact message? right? That is a process. If you deviate from the process, you are not getting your outcome, all right? So, hence, these tools that are used for testing how an application is working is called as functional automation testing tool, all right? So, they test to see that the functionality of the application is working. So, that is one keyword. Second, they're also testing how the application look and feel is important. So tomorrow you will see that, hey, this field is missing or this label called first name here is not available or the address is missing or uh, this data here is not there or the uh, button uh, is not coming up in the right manner, all right, or this specific image is missing you should be able to do some UI based testing also. What is UI? UI is the user interface. What you see on an application, that look and feel is the user interface. Is that working correctly or not is also critical. And hence, QTP is also happens to be a functional automation testing tool or a UI automation testing tool. The third one, which is very critical, and this is one of the most 
it's, it's one concept that people get a little confused. So let me try and explain it very clearly to you. As I was telling you, everything needs to be built one after the other. You start with a version 1, you go to a version 2, then 3, 4 and so on. You, it's like saying that you know Rome was not built in a day. You have to work on it one stage at a time and go on. Look at how Facebook is today and how it was three years ago. You almost see changes on every two, three weeks you see some new features being added. Look at Google what they're doing. These companies and in fact almost all the companies will need to be uh, evolving and changing over a period of time. What does that mean? That today any given business has this specific scope, this whole box representing let's say all those process, that functionality, that features together. Tomorrow they may want to say you know what this is old, no one is using. Our customers need something altogether new. Let's build some new functionality over. So what does a software tester need to do? The software tester needs to make sure that this is deleted. The software tester needs to make sure that this new functionality is also working correctly. The QA engineer or the software testers also need to make sure that in this process nothing that was there and working correctly earlier is now broken. Alright? It's very simple. It's like this. You say, you know what, in, at your house you think, you know what, I want to extend the kitchen and I want to I, uh, put an island in the kitchen. What do you do? You build, bring the contractors and they'll build, uh, they'll add the uh, island but in the process you will also realize that there's this corner table attached to the wall that you need to remove so you need to throw that away, right? So you added the island in the kitchen, you threw away something that you didn't need but in the process they cut some wires in inside the wall and there's no power coming in that side, alright? So you need to be able to test before the contractors leave and say that, hey, you know what, everything is good or there are issues, fix it before you leave. All right. So that whole process of repeating to test that old functionality and this new things together is something called as regression testing. It is an ongoing activity that you need to do where not only really are testing what was working correctly earlier, Apart from that, the new functionality and making sure together they're not uh, doing anything different. All right. So that concept is regression testing. QTP is a functional regression testing tool that works on the UI of the application team. If I can give a one uh, line definition, that is what it is. I'm not great at it, but I know there is exact meaning coming out of it. All right. From a brief history of QTP or quick test professional and how it evolved and team I keep using QTP despite the fact that it is uh, got a new name which is unified functional testing tool because it's just been too popular in, in that manner for a very long time. The best way for any of you team uh, to, oops, I think my Firefox crashed. Uh, for you to really get the history of QTP is uh, go to the Wikipedia page, please. So if you go to Wikipedia and uh, or search for uh, history on QTP, you will see the how the company was built over a period of time. So I'm going to say uh, history of QTP, all right? And uh, do you see this? One of the first one that came up is uh, the uh, quick test professional on Wikipedia and look at that. It's uh, over a decade story team. It started with Mercury Interactive then HP Hewlett Packard as a company purchased Mercury Interactive and through which came HP quick test professional. All right. So what is important for you to note here is that this company called Mercury Interactive was a product development company. And this company was doing or working on creating uh, many uh, testing products like HP Quick Test Professional which does functional, quality center and load runner and so on. HP saw it that this is a growing product, good in demand, they purchased it. What was very important over this period of time is as it grew in the features, it's got tremendous features, no question about it. 
the number of users also started growing. The programming language VB scripting that was used uh, in it was also not that complex. And then over a period of time, the whole market almost QTP became uh, the most important tool for everyone to know. It's become almost like a mandatory thing. Now we have more tools to work with. All right. And as we go along, you will see that QTP also or going forward unified functional testing is trying to bring in more features that will compete with the current market. All right. So that is all that I would suggest for you to know about HP Quick Test Professional as a history. But what we will go in depth are the specific features for each of them. But what is really nice I like about this Wikipedia page is at a high level, it tells what all it does, what all it has. For me, as soon as I see this, I know uh, it's a good page because all of this is not Greek and Latin to me. They're all very easy because I've done it so many times, right? It also shows you where the versions started from and so on. This is not important for you from your project or your interview perspective, but more from an awareness. You will see that the reason QTP is still strong in market is not just because the tool is good, because there are so many people in the market with that skill. All right. So very simple. For example, um, let's say that uh, if I need to, how do I put this? Um, yeah, let's say that I want to do a renovation at house at my home, right? Uh, for example, let's assume that marble is one of the most expensive stores, or it is not in reach for me out here. Would I do want to do it with marble? Or would I want to create a wooden floor? All right. You will need to make a decision based on the availability of raw material for construction as well. Right. What does that mean? If today in the market I have more QTP people or more Selenium people, I may want to choose the automation tool based on the availability and the cost of that. And that is the reason QTP is still very strong in the market. Now, why it got popular over a period of time? It was one of the most autonomous, but one of the other reasons it really got popular was quality center or at that time called test director. Test director was another automation tool. Okay. It also took a manual process. I don't know why my pen is not working, but um, this pen is a problem. Let me try a pen and see. It is probably doing it somewhere in the background. Okay, there you go. Let me try this. Now it's not. I think I should have a white paper on and then it will be able to do it. Anyways, uh, we'll fix this. Uh, but what was it saying? Yeah, test director was a function. It was not, it was an automation testing tool, but it was not to automate a functional testing process. It was just to automate the test management process. The whole management of your test artifacts, documents, how and where you log defects, how you share the information with other teams and so on. Test director was very popular and then came quality center. It was not, it was still expensive, but it was not as uh, complex as QTP and one of one, one of the most easiest tools to use. And then it was easy for someone to say, you know what, QC is great. Let me also do QTP. And I heard they both talk to each other and they are integrated. So there goes QTP again um, that, you know what, QC is doing it. Now uh, let's join hands. Let's integrate them together. And here we have a good market. With those two good tools together, uh, HP could really take control of the whole market team. All right. Now, in terms of primary competitors of QTP, I'm going to do a complete session on it. But today, if you look at it, there is um, uh, not many competitors uh, per se, uh, which are as popular as QTP or Selenium. There is rational tools. Uh, there are uh, tools from uh, Microsoft and so on. But still at the tops, uh, at the top is QTP and Selenium. Both are real strong. So unless you have a very specific requirement on any other tool other than this, if you need to choose, stay with one of these tools. Um, it's a great market for the next five, six years at least. 
All right, so that is the overview about QTP to the extent of what you need to know.